Alright, everyone. We're gonna start the assassinated aerialist. When murder strikes in public, and 1,000 feet in the air, there's a trip to the circus in Holmes for Watson. I say, Holmes, here's a curious item. At a carnival in Hertfordshire, Maxwell Kate, an aerial artiste, ascended in his balloon, as usual, before a crowd of hundreds. But when his balloon descended, it crashed near some woods three miles off target. When the carnival workers found Cade in the balloon's basket, he was dead, having been stabbed in the back. Apparently in mid-flight, local authorities are mystified. Curious indeed. Come, Watson. It has been ages since I've visited a country carnival. We shall take the next train there. Good. Let's find the differences. Pipe. Hmm. Aha. I can't seem to open it. Alright, I have to rotate the pieces now. Pretty easy. When it came to woman, Cave was a Don Juan, a bounder, a cat. He always kept cautious with the jealous husband. Children love to see Cave take his dog Nico aloft as part of the act. Nico was unharmed in the crash, having found safety when the cage kept the balloon basket. One of three voodoo dolls. Dagger. I deduce from these daggers that your knife thrower, Miss Jenny Griffiths, is also Miss Kate's recent paramours, blah 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 blah. Last week I found Pretzel Polly, our contortionist, hiding in that little cabinet. This weak girl has springs for a spine. Hmm. Oh, by the way, the screen should be fixed. Just saying. <laughs> um... If it's not, then I'll figure it out in the next video. Ah, Madame Olga must have the voodoo doll. She's an old gypsy fortune teller. Oh, just saying, too, these missions do have time limits. This is the clock up there. I would like to inspect the actual scene of the crime. The balloon's carriage. I anticipated that. Please follow me to the storage tent, which is out of bounds to the public. Let's see? Hmm. Let's see. What else is there? My cap. Good, found it. Um. Rope. Aha. Cade's apprentice Bill used to wear those caps. When the boy grew too fat to ever be in a balloonist, Cade dismissed him. That awkward moment when you're dismissed from your job because you're too fat. Um. Your children act polo. The clown must be the owner of these shoes. Aha. Kate usually keeps the rope in his basket. All right, so we have to put these all, put these all in a place that makes sense. Hmm. Interesting. This one's a little different. Here we go. I told you they're always different. I found it quite peculiar that the rope was removed before Kate's performance. The basket was empty when he landed. Uh, 
Umbel, a dagger, and two dog bones. Hmm. I want to keep this moving. It's obvious that these dumbbells are the property of Giovanni the Strong Man. Hmm. Ah. Whoa. We found that dagger in Kate's back. Jenny the knife thrower says that she couldn't find it anywhere throughout the day's performance. Polly loved, was in love with Cade, so she tried to earn his affection by making friends with his dog. Great. <coughs> Sweet. I have enough information to formulate my deductions at Baker Street. Good way to think of it is that all the items that have changed are not related to the case. Nice work. You got it. <laughs> oh boy. Nice work. So was the contortionist. Sweet. Pretzel Polly committed the murder in a jealous lover's rage. During Cade's fatal final performance, she emerged from the balloon storage box and stabbed him from behind. Cade was dead before any spectators could see that anything was amiss. So she must have scrambled away when the basket struck the ground. Well, that's brilliant, Holmes. But how will the authorities find her now? Based on my experience with crimes of passion, I predict that you will find Polly waiting within her wagon. She will go peaceably with the police and then, her passion spent, to whatever judgment awaits her afterward. Congratulations. Alright, sweet. That is the assassinated aerialist. <laughs>